All right, we are here with the Dell Latitude D620. Um, yesterday I made the video with Snow Leopard. I mean, with the uh, Leopard server. This is Snow Leopard. I use work from Leppy 700M. Great job. We'll take a look. This is running Snow Leopard Mac OS 10, Snow Leopard 10.6.2, the latest and greatest. I use software update, and I haven't gotten a kernel panic yet. I've I've installed everything from the software update, and everything works. Wi-Fi, Ethernet, iTunes, and every everything is at the latest. I even was able to download the iPhone SDK and use that. It runs seamlessly. Again, the specification, 3 gigabytes of RAM. Um, I have my experimental hard drive, which is a 40 gigabyte serial ATA, 5400 RPM drive. I have um, the Intel Core Duo chip at 1.66 gigahertz, the T2300E. And I have the Dell wireless, so Wi-Fi works here. You can see there's the famous Steve Jobs pinwheel. There's the Apple logo. Makes me want to get a Mac a whole bunch more, but I mean, look. It is a bit slower booting up than a regular Mac, but, I mean, it works. I go to, you know, about this Mac. Mac OS X. I hit more info, the computer it pulls up system profiler. It is registered as a Mac Pro. For those who want to see it ready, I'm going to click Safari. One, two, three. And look at how fast it opens. I mean, Windows is slower than this, even with Safari on Windows. I want to open up iTunes. Just a really fast computer. Xcode is the only one that takes a little while. So you ready? I'm going to press it. It bounces quite for a little while there. But I mean, this thing is really great. I mean, it's just nice. I can create a new Xcode project. And I can do iPhone OS and choose and save that. And then it pulls it up. So, I mean, this is a really great comp thingy here. And I can hit build and go. Building, it's building. And then it's going to pull it up. I didn't really, it's not building anything, though. It's going to pull it up in iPhone Simulator, which is another program here. I mean, the thing runs incredibly well. There's the iPhone Simulator. And this is a Dell Latitude D620 with Hackintosh. I hit the home button. Go through my home pages, you know, and watch Safari, and I'll pull up Safari there. And use my mail. You, this cool thingy. And it worked one time, and it would tell me what the weather was outside. Yeah, there you go. And I can load a website. It's got QuickTime 10, too, so you know, that's pretty nice. I mean, there's quite a bit of stuff, and this is a Hackintosh. A Dell Attitude D620. It's, and then when I want to shut it off, I can either press the power button or go to the Apple logo and hit shut down. And hit shut down. Ready? I'm going to hit. Make sure it's over. Ready? One, two, three. And it shuts off incredibly quick. Really fast compared to a Windows machine. It's off. I can go bring it anywhere. Now, the sleep doesn't work, but Wi Fi, Ethernet, everything else does work on this Hackintosh. So, I mean, it's a really, really thing. It's got, it's really, really cool. It's got the uh, Lizard Chameleon, or however you say it, bootloader on it, so. It got replaced with the Dell logo. But, I mean, it boots up incredibly fast compared to Windows. And it's instantly usable as soon as it's booted up, so that's really nice. So that's a look at the Dell Latitude D620 Hackintosh. Mac OS 10.6.2 is installed. Thanks for watching.